Hello and welcome to the Eisenhower Eagle Football Review. Week two saw the Eisenhower Eagles looking to rebound after their loss to Oak Park, and the perfect opportunity to do so was a visit to Cousineau. Well, we've been watching the film a little bit on the Patriots, and you know they, they're a uh, um, multiple formation team, a lot of unbalanced formations. A uh, good quarterback that can run the ball, and uh, we're expecting a lot of uh, you know quarterback runs, uh, traps, counters. Uh, jet sweeps off them, um, you know, bootleg passes. So we're trying to prepare, you know, we're going to prepare this week to, to, to play those types of things defensively. Offensively, um, you know, just depends what they come out and, you know, they ran some 4-4, four, four, but we're ready for any kind of defense, a 4-4, four, 4-3, four, four, three, three, four. we've played them all. So uh, it's a matter of, uh, you know, executing whatever defense that they're in. Coach did mean execute the plays as opposed to their defense, right? The Eagles came out flying against the Cousineau Patriots in week two of the high school football season. To start the game, Blake Rastigue connected with Ian Kennelly on the opening drive for a touchdown. Ike led 7-0. Stick, stick, stick. The Patriots got the ball but soon dropped it and the Eagles' Caleb Oyster manages to hunt it down and work farther into Cousineau territory. and it looked like Rastikew would add six to Ike's early lead, but the TD was called back due to a penalty. The next play, Rastikew was pressured and he looked for Nathan Pettipool, but the Patriots would intercept it and get out to the 11 yard line. But the Patriots were soon forced to punt and Steven Nadelski took full advantage, working off some great blocking Steven finds his open field and scurries 45 yards for the return, and Ike was up 14 to nothing. On their next drive, the Eagles' Ian Kennelly gets some big yards with this catch and run down to the Patriot 27-yard line. Senior running back Jacob Oyster would finish the drive, dragging tacklers into the end zone for another Eagle touchdown. He would also kick the extra point and Ike led 21 to nothing with 6.32 left in the first quarter. When the Eagles offense wasn't chewing up yardage in Patriot defenders, the Eagle defense was solid. Swarming ball carriers like a pack of wolves hungry for their next meal. On the first play of their next drive, the Eagles tried to keep it simple, which they did. One play, Rastikew to a streaking Alexander Jarvis. A little over 50 yards and Ike was up 28 to nothing at the end of the first quarter. In the second quarter, the Eagles' Caleb Oyster finishes up Eisenhower's first drive. He smashes his way in from the one yard for a touchdown to put the Eagles up 35 to nothing. Again, the Cousineau offense was met by a stingy Ike defense. Luke Devereux and Justin Tretzky headline this tackle for a loss. Later, Justin would be rewarded with a fumble recovery to end a very active Patriot drive. That led to another big connection between Rastikew and Nadolski, down to the Cousin 15. Caleb Oyster again finishes the drive for the Eagles, spinning and banging 15 yards for another Eagle touchdown. That made it 42 to nothing Ike with 3.14 left in the second quarter. After another stalled drive and short putt by Cousineau, Blake Rastigue would end up keeping it and running it in himself to add to Ike's lead. 49 to nothing at the end of the first half. In the third quarter, the Eagles go with Braden Van Gilder at quarterback and he would pitch to Jacob Smith, who would work his way down to the four yard line. Smith would get the call on the next play where he squeezes his way into the end zone for the touchdown. That put Eisenhower up 55 to nothing. Later in the game, Michael Bush rattles off 50 yards for another Eagle touchdown, 
and Eisenhower led 61 to nothing. Late in the fourth quarter, Braden Van Gilder would cap off the Eagles' onslaught with a 10-yard quarterback keeper. That ended the scoring and the game as the Eisenhower Eagles traveled to Warren and embarrassed the Patriots 67 to nothing. We can't control our opponent, what our opponent's doing. Our job is to execute what we're doing. So I thought the kids really executed across the board. We got a lot of players in, uh, second teams, third teams, and you know, uh, you know, they all executed. So that's what we're looking for in a game like this. I liked uh, what Nadalski did returning the football. I thought he did a great job. We got a, a corner, Dante Sardi, I thought, did a nice job coming up and making tackles. Um, those things really stuck out. But you know, when you score this many, many, many points, a lot of people are, are doing a lot of good things. In the one series, they, they hit us with a couple inside plays, trap, midlines. Um, maybe they got a couple first downs in there. I think that's the most they had. So I thought our defense really did good. We've really been working on our defensive line and playing the right way. And, uh, you know, I think they did a nice job today. Up next for the 2018 Eagles is a visit from the team many predict will be the Mac Red champions, Chippewa Valley. The Eagles' 67 to nothing victory over the Patriots surprisingly wasn't their largest. The 1975 Eisenhower Eagles currently hold that record with their 82 to nothing dismantling of the Lapeer East Eagles. At the time, Lapeer East was competing in their first year as a high school football team and went 0 and 9, where they were outscored 398 to 29 by their opponents. We'd like to thank you for watching the Eisenhower Eagle Football Review, and of course, we'll have more highlights from next week's game. Take care everyone and we'll see you on the field.